Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. This is my first video based on Analog Electronics video lecture series. In this video, I'll explain you fundamentals of operational amplifier. Before I start with explanation, let me show you how many things that I'm going to cover in this video. See, first I'll be discussing about block diagram of operational amplifier. After that, I'll explain you basic definition of operational amplifier. After that, I'll explain you what is operational amplifier. Using operational amplifier, we can perform so many operations. That is what the case which I'll be discussing here. After that, I'll explain you basic symbol of operational amplifier. And here, I'll explain you how this operational amplifier functions. Means how we will be getting output. That is what the case which I'll be discussing over here. After that, I'll explain you equivalent circuit of operational amplifier. And at last, I'll explain you ideal voltage transfer curve of operational amplifier. So let us begin this video with first agenda that is block diagram of operational amplifier. See, when you talk about block diagram, first of all, you need to understand one thing. What will be input and what will be output to the system? So if you observe here, we have two different inputs, non-inverting input and inverting input. See non-inverting input that is noted by plus sign over here and inverting input that is noted by minus sign over here. So here we will be amplifying signal which is our input signal. But what is my output? See my output is amplified version of difference of these two input. So if I say my input plus over here that is V1 and this input is V2 then my output over here that is gain A into V1 minus V2. So our agenda is to amplify difference of this right and here with operational amplifier amplification factor is very high. The reason is multiple amplifiers that we will be connecting over here in cascaded pattern. So we are multiplying gain by connection of cascaded amplifier. Let me show you how. See first stage is input stage that is balanced differential amplifier. So we have two different inputs and we have balanced differential amplifier means using this we will be amplifying difference of this right so we will be amplifying difference of this this is my first stage second stage is also differential amplifier but that is unbalanced differential amplifier so again two inputs are there that difference that we are amplifying over here and that output we will be giving it to level shifting stage so in level shifting stage we have emitter follower using constant current source here we will be shifting DC level of the signal. So whatever amplification that we have done it by these two stage. After that signal will be provided with proper level shifting by DC level shifting. Right. So that we do it over here. And last stage that is output stage where we have complementary symmetry push pull amplifier. So here if you observe in cascaded pattern we are having multiple amplifiers. So, but obviously our agenda is to have higher amplification. So amplification factor that is A that I have considered over here, but that A value will be very large as we are having multiple amplifiers in its internal block diagram, right? Now let us try to understand definition. If you see the definition, see it consists direct coupled high gain amplifier with one or more differential amplifiers. So you observe here, it consists direct coupled high gain amplifiers, right? And those are differential amplifiers. So it consists direct coupled high gain amplifiers with one or more differential amplifiers followed by level translator and output stage. So here we have level translator and output stage, right? Level translator means here we will be shifting DC level. So first what we will be doing is we will be taking difference of two signal and amplifying it. Again we will be taking 
difference of those two signal and again we are amplifying it so two times differential amplifiers are there after that we are providing dc level shifting right and again we will be having complementary symmetry push pull amplifier that is there at output side right so that is the basic definition but do you think like only amplification that is the goal over here but obviously no there are so many things that we can do using operational amplifier you see what is operational amplifier operational amplifier is having multiple stage of amplification that we have seen and using operational amplifier we can perform so many things like we can amplify dc signal ac signal let me explain you how see for example if you want to amplify ac signal let us connect that ac signal with v1 and just ground v2 so what will happen output will be amplified one version of v1 right so you will be having output that is amplified as per gain a directly we are amplifying it right see here we can perform addition of two signals we can perform subtraction of two signals so that is also possible using this operational amplifier we are having output that is difference of this two so using operational amplifier we can perform addition subtraction of signal c1 right see we will be using operational amplifier for oscillator filter integrator differentiator and regulation see all these applications that i'm going to cover in this playlist of analog electronics and I'll, I'll make sure to have at least two, three applications of each of these cases that I'll explain you along with derivation even, right? So in this video lecture series, I'll exp explain you all these applications by practical case studies, right? So operational amplifier can perform so many different tasks. That's why operational amplifier plays very essential role in electronics. Nowadays also in 2024, there are many applications that is there based on operational amplifier. That's why we are using operational amplifier so frequently in electronics, right? When it comes to basic symbol, you see, basic symbol is quite simple. See here we have input, plus and minus. Plus means non-inverting input and minus means inverting input. Here we have output. That output will be difference of this into amplification factor right or you can say gain see here vcc and minus vee that is provided that is to provide supply to this ic so here biasing supply that we need to have so biasing supply that we provide over here plus vcc and minus vee right so but obviously output cannot exceeds to plus VCC and minus VEE, right? Means amplification that will happen, but it cannot have output value which can go beyond plus VCC and minus VEE, right? Now, see, output is quite simple. If I say, if I say gain, gain of this amplifier is A, then output is V in plus minus V in minus into into gain and input is difference right so v in plus minus v in minus so by black color you see we have input that is difference right v in plus minus v in minus and output that is this input which is difference into gain that is how it is working right but output cannot exceeds beyond bias supply that is plus vcc and minus vee right now let me show you equivalent circuit so if you observe here see equivalent circuit that is this where this is ideal equivalent circuit now what is the meaning of equivalent circuit see here we have input that is v in plus and v in minus this is non-inverting input this is inverting input right so here see we have input resistance ri that we are having in equivalent circuit and ideally this ri value that is very high you can say infinite right so ideally operational amplifier should have infinite input resistance right so input impedance 
that we are connecting over here in series over here right so that entire input that is getting captured by this device right so ri that is very high ideally you can say infinite see input that we are considering in terms of difference practically so you can say we are having two terminals for input but practically it is vid which is difference in between v in plus minus v in minus right now at output you see we have output resistance ro that we are connecting it in series with this terminal ideally ro value will be zero but in series with ro also we are having dependent voltage source you see and this dependent voltage source is having amplification a into this input that is vid so practically your output will be what that is this voltage which is a into vid right and we are saying like see this value of a amplification factor that is way high right ideally it will be infinite so ideally value of a will be infinite but it is not possible right it will be high you can say it is there in terms of thousand right so when you talk about equivalent circuit see here input resistance ri will be there which is there in between two terminals this value will be high practically it will be there in terms of mega ohm ro that is there in series with this terminal internally ideally it will be zero but practically it will be having some small value right so output is difference into amplification that is how equivalent circuit is there but remember see this output that cannot go beyond plus vcc and minus vee now let me explain you ideal voltage transfer curve so you see here we have vid so with respect to zero here we have positive value and with respect to zero here we have negative value so you see here we have constant slope here we have constant slope so output that is increasing linearly over here right and that is happening as per slope a where a is amplification factor of operational amplifier so output will change over here as per gain a and here it is getting saturated here it is getting saturated you see positive saturation and negative saturation so positive saturation that cannot go beyond vcc bias supply you see here we have positive bias that is plus vcc and this is negative voltage bias that is minus ve so positively it cannot go beyond plus vcc always it will be a bit lower than that and negatively it cannot go beyond minus vee it is a bit lower than that over here right so in between that saturation amplification will happen but once it reaches to saturation output will stay constant over here after that even if you increase vid over positive side or over negative side it will not make sense it will not do amplification the reason is now output is having its limit right and that limit is set by this bias right so that is how things are there so here ideally you can say transfer curve is like this where amplification will happen up to saturation saturation will be there with positive limit as well as with negative limit after saturation output stays constant like for example if i say here we have plus v 15 and here we have minus 15 then v out cannot go beyond plus 15 and minus 15 right so even if you further increase this difference output will stay saturated 